Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Nan Montgomery. She's a Warren County Extension SNAP educator. Good morning, Nan. Good morning, Joanna. Well, it looks like you brought me breakfast. Yes, I did <laughs> I did bring you breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and oftentimes people skip it, um, whether it be because they're not hungry or the hustle and bustle of the morning. And so I wanted to present um, a really easy breakfast. And um, so we are gonna make a peaches and cream bagel. Now that sounds really good, Nan, though, it, a peaches and cream bagel. Yes, so your base is gonna be any type of bagel you want. The recipe does call for a cinnamon raisin ba bagel. Mm -hmm. So we have a cinnamon raisin and bagel. And have you toasted this bagel? I haven't, but if you want to, you, you okay. can um, toast it. Um, so you're going to put about two tablespoons of cottage cheese, and I know I can already he hear people or my husband say, oh, cottage cheese, that's horrible. <laughs> um, so if you're someone who is not a fan of cottage cheese, you can replace this with peanut butter, or you could use a little bit of cream cheese. Yeah, but um, it's going to add some protein, some dairy, so we're going to get some of our food groups in there. Yes, definitely. This uh, cottage cheese has um, a lot of protein, and it's going to be really good for you. It's going to be better than that um, cream cheese you might choose. Mm -hmm. And then um, the recipe calls for half a cup of peaches. So you just okay. sprinkle. I didn't do a very good job of that. Sprinkle your peaches on there. And this is going to be a great way for you to get um, fruit. And this is going to keep you full mm -hmm. um, in your... It's when you're eating. Add some freshness to the bagel as well. Yes, and this is gonna be really great. Um, I've used a fruit cup for this, but when peaches are in season, this is gonna be really great if you have that nice juicy peach. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna make it um, delicious. Then you're gonna take a little bit of honey for that extra sweetness, and you're gonna drizzle it on top. Okay, nice natural sweetness. Now, this is gonna be a little bit messy, Nan, right? Uh, yes, this, this, is, this, is, this, is, this will be a little bit messy. Make sure you have your, your napkin ready. Uh -huh. And then to top it off, we're gonna add just um, a little bit of cinnamon just for some color and actually cinnamon kind of gives you a little bit of a natural sweetener you can use that to replace sugar and so um, it's pretty it's quick and easy it is messy but this is going to be a breakfast that's going to keep you full and I know traditionally in Kentucky we think about breakfasts like bacon and sausage and pancakes but if you've noticed that if you eat bacon and sausages and pancakes about an hour after you eat it or at least after I eat it I'm so hungry like I just chow down on all that food but I'm so hungry and so that it's important that you choose a healthy breakfast, and this is going to be a healthier breakfast. But for those of you who maybe um, aren't hungry in the morning, you have uh, the good thing is you have two hours to, to eat breakfast. And research shows those people that eat breakfast perform better in school, but also um, better in their job. And if you have children, um, research shows that they're going to be less tired and cranky and get along better with their peers. But also as adults, that's going to reflect in your work. You're going to be less tired and cranky. So if you uh, have that cranky coworker, slip them some breakfast. Yes, is slip, that them, slip them a <laughs> granola bar. Well, I think it's great because a lot of times, Nan, in the beginning of the year, we're always thinking about ways we can improve our health and maybe how we think can make things easier on us. And this seems like a great breakfast that you could really change up, you know, and, and maybe use a different fruit. Definitely, or... you can change the fruit, and you don't and you don't even have to do all this. In fact, you could just grab the bagel by itself, the fruit cup with the peaches or the cottage cheese, and have those three components just by themselves as a breakfast. Mm -hmm. So when you think of breakfast, it doesn't have to be this complicated thing. These are easy grab and go. Grab, and gr grab your fruit cup, grab a cup of cottage cheese that you made the night before, and grab a bagel and toast it at work or eat it in, in the car. And so, um, like I said, breakfast doesn't have to be complicated. You can get a granola bar, you can grab nuts, yogurt, fruit. Those are all healthy breakfast items that are going to keep you full. Um, and so you just want to make sure in the new year or whenever, if you're trying to lose weight or be healthier, you want to make sure that you are eating breakfast because there's a myth that when you skip breakfast, oh, or a meal, I might lose weight. But your body, that's really not going to help your body. You're not going to lose um, weight by skipping any meals. You want to make sure that you're eating um, meals and getting the um, calories that your body needs. Absolutely. And I just saw a study that said that pizza was more nutritious than some of those sugary cereals. So I haven't read that article yet, but I am very interested oh, to find out. It doesn't It doesn't surprise me because it's about your crash. You get all that sugar and it keeps you full and it gives you that little boost of energy, but then an hour later it's gone and you're hungry. And so when you eat those sugary foods, um, after they wear off, you're going to tend to binge eat and eat more and more and more. Whereas if you might have had a wholesome breakfast like this, 
because it's going to keep you full and you're not going to want to binge eat and grab more unhealthy snacks or food throughout the day. So it will help you with your weight loss and just be um, get the vitamins and minerals you need and just be overall healthy and better in the long run. Absolutely. Now you guys have a lot of recipe ideas, right? Yes. So call the Warren County Extension Office. We have tons of recipes. It doesn't have to be breakfast, but um, not only are they healthy, but they're budget friendly. So this was um, a very inexpensive recipe to make and that's what we try to focus on is healthy and inexpensive. All right, now well, thanks for the information and thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.